Hi, how are you doing? Well, community, today I'm going to show how to create a custom image with PostgreSQL for the ones that wants to store the, the data of the bot in, in a PostgreSQL database instead of the uh, in SQLite. And then I'm going to show how to create a Docker Compose file to run a Postgres database and multiple bots that sends the orders to or the, the data that is stored in the database, the tray fields, to that database. And also I will run another container with a PC admin to view the database. Um, probably maybe the next thing that we could do is run a metabase to create some dashboards of that uh, that database. Well, uh, first of all, it will here we we will have two different ways of doing it, um, depending on if you have a Mac OS with M1 Pro or, or M1, or the architecture is ARM, or if you have a machine with Intel, the the Docker file will be different. So in my case, the Docker file is uh, Docker file dot ARM, and here <coughs> I can see that the uh, is using to to create in the the virtual environment the file that is in setup environment this one so i will go here and i have to add the dependency that i want in this case is a uh, psycho pc2 uh, that is the driver for the postgres sql so i will add it here if psycho pc2 and uh, the last version is 2.0 9.3 so with that i am ready to build the image that will be uh, that, that that has a dependency that will let me use the postgres database so the command to to build the image is docker build and now i have to specify which file i want in this case i want docker file.arm and then I will put a tag, I will put uh, the, the, the image will be named uh, that is my Docker Hub um, ha Hummingbot underscore PG uh, and then a dot here so when I run that command uh, the image will be start be, uh, Build, uh, Docker will start building the image and, and I will pause the video because this will be maybe a long time so I will restart it when, when it's done well now the image is ready so the next step is to go to the Docker file well just uh, to understand how this is uh, working I have a folder here that is called bot configs. This is just um, as, as an example. Here you have to put your folders. This is called master files and station files. Uh, has to have the com folder, data folder, logs, PMM scripts, and scripts. It's important that if you want to use the auto start in the com folder, you will need the encrypted password and um, if you are going to use this with a real account, in this case, I'm just using paper trading, but if you want to use it, I don't know, with Binance or KuCoin, you have to uh, have the API keys uh, already um, encrypted. The way to do this is running a client, and when you put the, the API key and the pass the secret, uh, an encrypted file will appear here and you have to have the all the, the folder here so uh, just uh, to review the to, to understand the Docker file I'm going to run four services one will be a database the second one will be a bot and a bot, the third one will be a bot too and the fourth will be uh, this PC admin so the PC admin is to have access to the database to analyze it. The DB is just the Postgre database and the two bots are handing bots uh, instances. So 
well, if you want to understand how the Docker Compose is defining it, go to the website um, and you could check how it's working. But um, to to review this, like like summarize what I what are what are we doing here? Is we have to define the image that we are going to use. This part of the port is if you want to access. Uh, the database from the outside of the instance that you are running. In this case, I'm not using it, this, but maybe if you are planning to create a dashboard that is uh, uh, pointing to that database, you have to have the port open. So, uh, and this uh, port has to be mapped from the container to the host. So this is how you map a port from the container to the host. So, and also don't forget to, suppose that you're using AWS, don't forget to change the security group because when you run an EC2, uh, there is a part that says security group that uh, shows which ports are or open. And then they also you can say, okay, this port is open and the only IP that could access this port is this one. That's to have more security. But for now, we, don't, we are not going to use this. The environment uh, variables, this is for the database, will be the name of the database will be Postgres, the user will be Dardonacci, and the password file, this is just to uh, don't expose the password here. In, in, in Docker Compose, you could pass uh, this like a secret, and the secrets are defined here. Postgres password, the file is Postgres password. In this case, the Postgres password is Dardonacci2. So it will be the same if, if here I write Dardonacci will be the same, but this is like a secure way to do it. And then this PC data uh, is where the data will be uh, stored of the database. And that will be mapped to a volume. The volume, just to understand why it's useful, when you're running a container, if you don't have any volume, that is linked to the data of the container. When you shut down the container, all the data that is inside of it will be lost. So the volume is used to persist data uh, one, um, if the container is uh, dead. So suppose that we are running this uh, database and suddenly the instance shut down you lost all the all the data if you are not back in making like this volume to store like the data of the database. And when you start again the container, if you use the same volume, all the data will be available for on, in the database. And this is not only for databases, but this is the example that I'm showing to you. So and then the bot uh, is the image that I just built. Um, the, then in environment, when you plan to run a bot with auto start, you have to pass the from environment variables, the config file name that you plan to run and the config password. In this case, the config password, we could use the same way of secrets here to keep it more secure. But well, in this case, it's just an example. So uh, when I started the client uh, to create these two folders, I write, uh, I, I use the password master for the two of the bots. Then uh, this is a uh, volumes, it is to map like these folders with the folders inside the container, just uh, as you do in the normal uh, Docker run, uh, flag, IT, in the, in, the, uh, in the normal start. Uh, well, these are all the configuration of the terminal, for for running the, the bot properly. Uh, well, this is the second bot that it will, it will be running the this second config file name. And uh, obviously, I, I don't say this, but this is a map like bot configs is this folder. And inside that folder, I'm using the master files. And that's why you make the difference. So if you want to, to change, uh, maybe suppose that you are running with normally with 10 bots, you will, fi you will have 10 folders with the 10, the 10 five folders of the bots, and then uh, you have to uh, complete this path. And the last thing is uh, this PC admin that will be used for uh, accessing the, the database. And I will show the, the 
<coughs> default email is this one you can change it and also default password is root but you can change it also you could remove this pc admin but it's, it's just only for uh, demonstrate you how to to run this and um, how to inspect the database uh, the last thing that i want i would like to tell you before i run this is okay i i have this bot one and bot two but how i set uh, how i configure the database that i will be using because this is just a docker compose file it will run one container with postgres database one container with a bot another container with another bot and one pg admin well inside the config uh, file this conf global there is a place that is uh, th there is some variables that is db engine db host db port the username password and name well, here the engine will be PostgreSQL and Psycho PC2, that is the dependency that we add to the image. Then the host will be custom docker because this folder is custom docker and db1 because when I, I will run later a docker compose app, you will see that the name of the container will be custom docker, that is the folder where I'm running the docker compose and db is the name of the service uh, that I'm writing. So that this is the name that will appear uh, when all the containers will uh, start. Then the port is uh, this one by default for Postgres. The username and password, as I uh, as I show you here, uh, and the dev name will be Postgres too. So this configuration you have to do it for each uh, conf file because I have these master files and this one too here. Uh, you could use the same conf global uh, for the two instances, but the main problem that you will have with that is that suppose that you have one API, you, you are running, I don't know, 10 bots. Uh, maybe the most, uh, maybe you will prefer to have the accounts, uh, the uh, sub accounts for each bot and different API keys for each bot. So in that case, you if you are trading KuCoin, you will have conflicts of the encrypted API keys uh, because you will need like different instances of the bot to run them. So, well, um, how to run this now? Uh, we will open a terminal and we will say docker compose app and flag D is for detach. So we are not going to see uh, the, the output of the, the docker compose. So now we have here uh, the containers here is a custom docker for containers and these four containers well here I have a problem it says uh, background error duplicate value maybe I could start here well Maybe there is a problem with the docker, but well, they are running. Let's see if we could access them. Uh, here, if, if, if I run docker ps, I will see that all the containers are running. And if I want to attach one terminal, it's just to docker attach custom docker bot one one. Okay, here we can see that the bot is running. Status. There are orders placed. And um, well, uh, now we, we can see that the bot, the two bots are running. Well, this is one of the bots. Now I'm going to check the other bot. It will be bot two. This is the other bot. It's running two. Perfect. Well, the last thing uh, of this will be. Uh, right, because I promised to, to check that, f that the database is storing the data of the bot and we don't have any SQLite database running. So by default, if we, s if we check here, the ports of the PC admin is in the 5050. So I will go to the internet and we'll run localhost 5050 and it will appear here, PC admin, uh, uh, by default, the email address is admin at admin.com and the password is root. You can change that in the Docker Compose file. Well, here we have the PG admin 
and we we could add one server. The name will be handling bot. The connection here, um, when you are using Docker, um, there are some ways to check which is the IP of the container, but this can change. So the best way of connecting, well, the best way for me, maybe another another one has another another way to do it. But um, the best way to, of doing this for me is uh, checking the name of the um, the container, and we could use the name of the container to to define the the the, the host. So in this case, is Docker DB one the custom Docker DB one. So we run we write that, and the username is uh, is Dardanachi and the password is Dardanachi too. So it will save here and now we are connected to the database that is running now in in the in a container. So here we can inspect that database is we have here the database called Postgres, that is the one that we are using. And if we go here to schemas tables, we can see that we have all the tables of having bots and uh, if you want to inspect one suppose that we want to inspect orders we can do first 100 orders here you can write the query that you want but uh, it's very interesting that we have uh, the config file running as you can see here config file path staging and master the two of them are running properly so well that's all uh, for now. I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, well, I hope that you can run multiple bots uh, with just one database and then use that database to analyze all the performance of all the bots. Well, that's all for now. And thank you very much. Uh, well, bye bye.